Hey y'all, Carol Norby here. You're at my Stamp and Carol Lots of Crafty Goodness page on Facebook, or you're on my YouTube channel. Today's card. Oh geez, I hope my internet doesn't screw up. It's been so bad. I'm on a phone line, and we're two miles from the main box, so it makes it extremely poor. Last week, somehow, my server was out of Mexico. Go figure. We're 30 miles from Nogales, uh, New Mex Nogales, Arizona, and Nogales, Mexico, or just, it's a border town, and I was getting my internet from over there. Now I'm back in Tucson, but that doesn't mean a whole lot. This internet is just really bad. I've tried others, and they were just, I need to try somebody else. So anyway, <laughs> enough of that. I learned yesterday how to make a balcony card. I'd seen this on Pinterest, and I go, well, that's cool. So I started researching and uh, watched a couple of videos, or at least one video in particular, and it was like, she tried so hard. She did fair, but she was upside down. <laughs> So it was a little confusing. I had to watch a couple of spots more. So I'm going to show you the card I made to show you how to make this, you know, my sample card. And then my card we'll be doing today is, is different. So I'm going to flip the phone over. This is a long video, so pay attention. <laughs> I'll flip the phone over. Okay. So this is the card. Oh, my light's not so great. Can I get it any better? Let's see if I can. This is the card I made yesterday. Isn't that just too cool? Now tomorrow, I will have a picture tutorial on this card because I took pictures as I made it. And then the card I'm making today will be on next Monday's post, I think. So this is a balcony card. So I'm going to set it aside and we'll get started. Okay, so you need three pieces of cardstock. This one is six by six scored at three inches and folded so I, I didn't do a lot of folding this one is seven inches by one and a half scored at half three and a half and six and a half so I'm going to come in here burnish my folds I hope you're having a great day today I think we're going to get rain maybe later Okay, this one, I got all my number, my, all my measurements wrote down over here. This one is, um, what did I see? Five inches by two and a half scored at one half, two and a half, and four and a half. So burnish those down, and then we'll get started. And I'll try to remember how I did this. So you're going to want to lay this card valley valley fold and i'm going to add tape so this this is um you got to do this the right way or well the, i do it this way because i i want to show you that inside here see you cannot see the tab and that is the purpose of adhering this piece first so i'm going to add my score tape i tried to adjust my and, you're, and you're, if you have them all mountain folds, it's the two panels right, right here, these two ends, the two small pieces. So I'm going to get my tape on here. I tried to do as much as I could in advance, but if I do too much, then it just does not seem to work. So I'm going to double layer this. This card turned out so, so cute. I semi put it together so that I could see how it turned out. And needless to say, my card I'm making today is not a typical card. I got to play in and it's like, oh my gosh, what if I do this? Oh my gosh, what if I do that? And I'm going, it's nothing like the cards I've seen on Pinterest at all. Now I'm double layering this because I want to make sure it stays good. And my tapes will come off. And since I just made this card yesterday and finished it today, it's going to be kind of nice. So lay it with your, so that it's a valley fold, folds open like that. Take the tape off of one end. And 
it's got to be like this so come in here I'm going to ever so lightly adhere that so it's right on the edge folds are supposed to line up there we go I'm going to adhere it down tight now I'm going to do the other side did you see that hi Heather so get this off of here ah, need to start on this end because I got that overlapped okay fold that down I got tape on my fingers that's fun and get line it up here so it's all nice and nice and even so that should lay flat okay so at this point I start decorating the inside because this panel is worked a little different so what I am using I went and use a fun cuddle bug. Uh, this is a very old, old cuddle bug folder, chicken wire or no? Yeah, cuddle bug. And because I am playing with chickens, so this is going to adhere inside the panels. See, like I said, this is something I cannot do in advance. Very good, because it just just doesn't work so I'll get this one on and I have to do them both or you I cannot finish the card in your and you think so since this panel is six inches six inches by three I cut this layer at two and seven eighths by five and seven eighths I make tiny 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 layers and my gals in my classes know it some of them just almost want to cuss me out <laughs> so now the typical cards I found on Pinterest they used a solid back layer and then they did another layer on top which would be um, two and three quarters by five and three quarters is that right yeah so but I didn't do that and most of my gals know I don't do everything typical <laughs> Especially when I started playing with this and I'm going, oh my gosh, wouldn't this be cute if I did this? Wouldn't this be cute if I did that? And then I just, I just go crazy. So we're going to put this panel inside here. At this point, when you're done with this, you can actually decorate the front. But I'm going to wait a minute because I did something different. Okay, so now I have this panel. We're going to sit it mountain fold. And I'm going to add my chicken wire pieces here. Now, since this this these panels in here, mountain fold, this piece is cut again, just an eighth inch smaller. So this is one and three eighths by two and seven eighths. And again, if you want to make it solid and then add a coordinating uh, piece on top of print, you just make it an eighth inch smaller. So. So anyway, yeah, Heather, we get, I don't have our AC set real low because of energy costs, so we have a fan in our bedroom that we leave on. It's actually on a timer, so it turns off after so many hours after the house cools down. But you guys are not used to the heat waves, so it's a little bit different. Okay, so here's where we get a little tricky. These panels here are going to in here inside, but then you're going to have this solid, can you see it, this solid brown panel against here, and I don't like that, so I'm going to cover these panels here. So these little pieces are like, whoops, I didn't cut them the right size. That's nice. <laughs> I can catch it later. So you're going to cover these pieces. So since this is a half inch, it's going to be 3 8 by, and then this is um, 2 and two and 7 eighths. Is that what I said? No. I'm looking. I have got my measurements all wrong. I'll have to play with this. 3 8 inch by 2 and 3 quarters. Two and three, seven eighths. Okay. Something like that. So then we're going to get tricky now. I'm going to add my tape here 
And this is where you have to really, really be careful. So I'm going to grab my tape again. And adhere it on here. Now on my other card that I made for a sample, my paper, my decorative paper I used was had a sheen to it, so I really needed a good score tape, but I would really recommend a good score tape to do this, so it's just that important. I may have to cover, may have to find my paper and cut that piece. I thought I did it, and I did it for the wrong end. I was just having too much fun this morning with this. So, ah. Uh, In fact, covering the inside while I was doing this card was almost an afterthought, so I'm going to hurry up and grab my paper and cut me a piece. So, hang on here, I'm a-coming. I got me a new paper trimmer the other day by We Are Memory Keepers. I really like it. So, since this is Two and a half, so I'm gonna cut cut this. I'll do two and a half, two and three eighths. Make sure that'll fit. Yep, two and three eighths. Three eighths. At least I can do it relatively fast. Three eighths and because it's really important. Because the way I'm going to decorate this, I don't think I can do this later. Okay. I've got those. I'll set this up here. Set this down here. Out of the way. So I will cover my inside pieces. Because so. I just don't want... I don't want it brown against the blue. It, it does. It looks. It looks really dorky. It really does. You can actually make this the same size as your inside panel if you want. That's up to you. I'm getting low on tape. If you have an ATG gun, you know scrapbook.com does carry tape. It's good tape. But I buy mine from the Tape Jungle. You do have to make sure that what you buy fits your particular gun. Um, this is an old gun. They don't make it anymore, but they do make the tapes for it. Mine is, I think, called a 12-hole ATG tape quarter inch. I love the quarter inch. Okay, now we're going to get tricky here. Let me get this out of the way. I need my ruler. It's important. The ruler is important. Make sure it's in your view. So I'm going to fold my card like this. I'm going to take the tape off of one side just one side because how tricky this is and I'm going to fold it I'm going to ever so careful line this up this seam here with the zero I'm going to slide this in of course it doesn't want to slide when I'm trying to do this and again get that lined up with the zero See, and it's wanting to stick already, but I don't want it to stick. Anyway, this fold here has to line up with the one inch, and your bottoms have to line up together. It is very tricky, but it is in my playing with it. You know what I'm going to do? Glue this down for the moment. Right there. Get my one inch under there. If all else fails, punt. <laughs> There we go. Now I can slide this in ever so careful. It's like I just don't have enough hands. Okay, I've got the edge lined up with the one inch. Got my bottom edge lined up. There we go. And burnish it down. Real good. I can move that. I can carefully take this off my thing and remove my tape. That's one thing I do like about this tape too. If I don't use too much, I can peel it off really nice. Okay, so now you have 
one side adhered down. I'm going to take the tape off this other side. This gets a little tricky, like I said. But this is the hardest part of the whole card. I would recommend you play with it a little bit before you take the liners off your tape. So you can see, you know, figure out how best to do it for you. Like I said, I had to. I had to tape this down and get my ruler under there. So this is what it looks like. And you can see now, can you see why I covered that inside panel? Because I did not want it to show. And when you lay it flat, all my seams line up, all my folds. Now we get to decorate. So instead of putting panels on here with the direction I was going, and I'm using Picket Fence, this stamp set, my gals know I love it. This is called One Hot Chick. I bought them coordinating dies. I love this. I love this. This is so fun. I got it at scrapbook.com. I'm also using the Happy Birthday from this set by Spellbinders called uh, Borders and Sentiments. It was uh, the clear stamp of the month for May. It's, if they have any left over, it will be on the Spellbinders website under clubs, under past clubs. And I cut my happy birthday in half because of where I have to put it. So I'll set these aside. And then I decided, you know, I'm doing chickens. I need a fence. So instead of putting the panels on here, which would be, let's see, this one was, uh, let's see, one and three eighths by two and seven eighths. And then you got your other layer. I just cut these to fit. So I'm going to glue them on. Because I'm just, of course, my gals know me. I do things really different. So I'm just going to come up a little ways here. I hope you can see this. I've, I've adjusted this again so I can see a little bit. And I'm going to line it up on the bottom and line that up with the fold. There. So stick that down. I was just having too much fun. The more I played with this, the more my mind said, oh, do this, do this. <laughs> and it turned out, I think it's turning out adorable. Stay down. I may have to add more glue. So it's just, I sure hope you give this a try. Like I said, the hardest part was getting that inside panel. I have seen some gorgeous, gorgeous cards on Pinterest. Just amazing. I'm going to line those up right there so my they almost touch and get that glued down. Stay there, stay there. Okay, I can use tape from this point on. So there, isn't that cool? I'm going to add chickens. So I need to move stuff out of my way so I can play here. This fence is from an old Fun Stamper's Journey die set called Garden Fence Die Set. I've used this so much that I've actually got the paint coming off of it. I have to show you this. Here's my die. I keep them on a magnet panel. <laughs> Can, did I use it a lot or what? <laughs> I've just taken the paint right off of it. It is one of my favorite dies for scenes like this. And I've, I've used it a lot, so I will get that out of the way. Okay, so I did not know for sure where I was going from here, except that I thought, this is going to be a birthday card. So even in my chicken set, let me find it. It says, you are one hot chick. I cut the stamp apart right there. So you are one and hot chick now are two different stamps. So I'm going to put one up here and one here. Isn't that cute? I'm getting there. So I'll get it adhered. So I hope you guys just have a fun time decorating these. These are some of the majority of the ones I've seen were flowers. And I thought, okay, I have lots of flowers, but I wanted something different. So I'm going to pretty much center these at the top. And since I did that, I thought I need to have a happy birthday down here. So that because there's no place really inside here, you can, you know, you can put your sentiment on the back. And I thought, no, I want it. 
I want it here. So since I glued that down, I'm going to use score tape on here. Actually, this is probably Spellbinder's white liner tape. And I'm not popping anything. I am trying to keep it relatively flat. You need a card that will handle a 6x6 six six card. So it, it's going to be extra postage. That's just the way it is. But, you know, when you're sending to somebody real special, that's okay. So I've got two daughter-in-laws, a daughter, and a granddaughter. I also have two... Actually, I got three granddaughters, but one is married. So this would work for any of them because they're all such cuties. So I'm going to layer this right in front of this fence, right like that. Okay, set this aside. Now I stamped and die cut chickens and eggs. So I've got five chickens and a whole bunch of eggs. In my class last week, we actually made... A chicken card <laughs> it was so cute so you got to figure out where you want these so as you do you just start decorating you know you can you can have them walking across here down you know wherever you want so then just start decorating so I will decorate this and finish it later this will be on my blog Monday I don't think I have anything scheduled for Monday I do for Friday because we have our Independence Day this weekend. So come back. I will show this on my blog Monday. And I will, well, actually, if I put it on YouTube, I will have to finish this card before I can put it on YouTube. So, but anyway, I'll flip the phone back over. So, yeah, isn't this cute? This is just a fun card, huh, Heather? So anyway, I hope you try it. Like I said, just that inside panel is the tricky one. Play with it before you remove the lining off your adhesive. If you're using glue, I don't know what to tell you. Um, one of the videos I've seen, she used glue, and I'm going, that to me would be messy. I had to play with this first. So anyway, have a wonderful day. Um, and I hope you don't get too overheated. <laughs> I don't think we're going to hit 100 today, but we do have a chance of rain. So anyway, have a great day. God bless you. Thank you for coming by, and we'll catch you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>